Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel English Literature. Today I am going to talk about minor Elizabethan poets. I am using the word minor not in the sense uh, that they are less important or less significant or not any pejorative mean, uh, way. But I am using the word minor just to make a demarcation line, just to separate them from other writers, other poets whose works are so bulky and uh, enormous that we need special video for them. Like Sidney, Spencer, their works are so many works and elaborate. We need the discussion in elaborate. Okay, that's why I just make a separate video on the poets whose work is um, not so enormous like them but they are not less significant okay so now today we'll talk about such writers and their works first of all came thomas sackville we all know about thomas sackville and he is famous for his drama tragedy gorbadak or fedex and porex that he was collaborated with thomas norton now one thing we have to remember that a playwright can be a poet and a poet can be a playwright and also a prose writer. So the name will come again and again in different fields. When we will talk about drama, we also will talk about Thomas Sackville. And again when we will talk about prose, we will talk about Walter Raleigh. So these writers, these authors have the same adroitness in different fields. So when we will talk uh, or study different uh, genre of Elizabethan period, Elizabethan literature, we will talk about them again and again. So the name will come to us. So they are not any less significant. Now Thomas Sackville's poetic work is our concern. When we will read about drama, then we will talk about Garbadak in details. He contributed to a poetic series that name is the mirror or mayor for the Majesty is the most significant and important work of him. It is a collection of poems. Its first edition was published in 1559 and then it was republished in 1563. Now it was a supplement to Lydgate's Fall of Princess that was a translation of Boccaccio. Lydgate's Fall of Princess was a translation of Boccaccio. And who was Lydgate? Chaucerian. It contains the best poetry written in the English language between Chaucer and Spencer. Again, Sackville's The Mirror for the Magistrate paved the way for future poets like Spencer. So they are not any way less significant because they are the mastermind. They are the path breaker. His other important literary works, his allegorical poem, Induction, it describes the poet's visit to the infernal religion. Sorry, not infernal religions, it will be infernal religions. Now, the complaint of Henry, Duke of Buckingham, is his another poem. Michael Drayton is another influential English poet. The Harmony of the Church is his collection of poems and it contains spiritual poems. The Harmony of Church from the name you can guess that it is contains spiritual poems. It cons But what happens? It contains a version of Song of Solomon that deals with the theme of erotica. So Harmony of Church with religious speculation contains spiritual poems. There is no problem. But along with the, this, there was another um, poetry collection that is Song of Solomon. That theme was erotica and that's why it was banned and all the copies were seized and destroyed. Now the next work is Idea, The Shepherd's Garland. It was published in 1593. It is a collection of nine pastorals. So how many pastorals were there? nine pastorals of the poet lover and who is Roland. Roland is the shepherd lover who expresses his feelings for his lady love. 
now in 1594 dayton expanded his idea what idea idea the shepherd's garland this idea which was published in 1593 was expanded by him with 64 sonnets and these 64 sonnets uh, under the title ideas mirror okay do you understand this idea the shepherd's garland which was published in 1593 was revised and with addition and was published under the name ideas mirror in 1594 just one year uh, after but a revised version was published again in 1619 the battle of egging court is another poem of him battle of egging court do you remember the 100 years war between england and france and in there there was three main battles who are england got victory and among them the one is the battle of egging court the battle of egging court and dreton wrote a poem on that battle of egging court now it is written in the form of a ballad tennyson was greatly influenced by it and wrote charge of the light brigade so you can see that how these writers of elizabethan period influence the later writer not only the contemporary writers but the victorian writers like tennyson was greatly influenced by dreton's work the legend of piers gaveston is dreton's historical poem it was written in heroic couplet matilda you don't have read the story matilda okay matilda is a novel for um, kids for children but uh, i think the adults also can go through it i can't remember the name any britons matilda okay go through the novel I, here it is not the novel it is an epic poem written in rhyme roll but i am telling you that matilda is a genius girl and he is a book lover he loves to read she loves to read books and she can do miracle and i i am advising you even you are adults more adults but i read matilda and it greatly impressed me just read matilda matilda is an epic poem written in rhyme royal here not this matilda matilda but in it britain matilda by in it britain endymion and phoebe is his another poem morty meriados morty meriados 1596 is his long poem written in ottava rhyme later he modified it okay i will make a video on all these rhyme scheme of poetry okay then uh, who will we will read about any writers works then there will show rhyme uta bara i must penserian stanza rhyme royal will not get confused even i myself get confused sometime pentameter hexameter okay pentameter 5 hexameter 6 that is okay but sometime all these rhyme scheme i myself get confused later he modified it and published it under the name the baron's work keep this point in mind okay it is very important that dreton's morty meriados that was published in 1596 was modified and again published in 1603 under the name the baron's works polyol beyond very very important Polyol Beyond is a collection of 18 books published in 1558 it is the most significant and most acclaimed work of Dreton its full name is Polyol Beyond a topographical description of tracts rivers tracts means area rivers mountains not track road tracts and forest so when write the full name that don't get confused not track but tracts tracts means area it was about the reign of queen elizabeth now his famous sonnet since there is no help since we cannot meet or we cannot go proceed in our future come let us kiss and part okay that's beautiful samuel daniel is another elizabethan poet 1562 to 1619 his famous sonnet cycle is delia some portion of it was published in astrophel and stella this is another sonnet series a sonnet cycle by sydney the civil wars between lancaster and york it is his poem 
It is a history written in verse. It was published in 1595, again revised edition in 1609. Now the civil wars between Lancaster, do you remember War of Roses? White Rose and Red Rose, Lancaster and York, that War of Roses is versified here. Now Dretton's legends were published between these times. England's uh, heroical epistles was published in 1597. His epistles were famous for his reflective and poetic practice. The complaint of Rosamond is another historical and important poem. And who is Rosamond? Rosamond was the mistress of King Henry the Second. So keep in mind the who is Rosamond, mistress of King Henry the. Now another uh, poet is Henry Constable, his son, sonnet cycle Diana, it is just important that his sonnet cycle is Diana name, don't get confused with Delia or other, it is Diana, it contains 23 sonnets and it was published in 1592. Now Sir Walter Raleigh who is uh, famous for his prose writing and for his friend of whom, he was friend of Spencer, he just helped and supported and inspired and encouraged Spencer for writing Fairy Queen and helped him to publish Fairy Queen. Now Sir Walter Raleigh, 1552, the date of birth of Walter Raleigh and most probable date of year, so date of birth, not date of birth, date, most probable year of birth, Walter Raleigh and Edmund Spencer, they both took birth in same year, 1552. He was an English statesman, soldier and courtier. The Lie is a lyric poem by him. Now there is Greville who is an Elizabethan poet and dramatist and best known for his biography of Sydney. You have to remember this, very, it is very important that Greville wrote the biography of Sydney, a dedication to Sir Philip Sydney. So who wrote the biography of Sydney? It is Greville. Say Lisa is a sonnet sequence by Greville, Say Lisa, 1633. Okay. Now we will just talk about two other writers, Thomas Watson and John Marston. Let's keep the, their names in mind. There is no significant works from them and Thomas Watson was a poet and translator and John Marston was a poet and playwright. Okay, in this video you will find too many information. Just take a note of them. I have made the gist already. There is only the information are there, nothing extra. But even then, you can do that. Bye.